what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Rapper Blueface recorded himself asking his mother to allow him to crack two eggs over her head for a thousand dollars. Mother said, now, nah, thousand dollars a piece. Give me two thousand dollars. And he said a thousand. Then he called her egghead something. They eventually settled for a thousand dollars and he cracked an egg over his mother's head. Am I tripping family? That's mom. I don't care what happened. That's mom. I don't care what the relationship is if she wasn't there. That's mama. Don't humiliate your mama for your own entertainment. Even if it was that bad, and some mothers are that bad. Some mothers are absolutely horrible. But don't play yourself like that. I can see possibly if it's a cousin, a sibling, a friend, a co-worker, auntie, uncle or something. But mama? Nah. Nah, man. That ain't cool. I don't care what y'all say. And a thousand dollars. I saw some people saying, man, you can crack a head over my head for a thousand dollars. Y'all tripping. A thousand dollars just crack a head over your head? Man, you can go ahead and just, just, you can wash that off, man. Just jump in the shot, wash that off. You got a thousand dollars in your pocket? Man. Come on, man. Is that anything some of you won't do for money? For some of y'all, that's all it takes is some money. Y'all will do anything. Damn. Mama? When I started making big money, I broke my mama off on the strength. That's just mama. That's just what you do. I gave my mama cash and her own house. Because that's just what you do, especially you growing up in the hood, man, and you struggled all your life, you seen mama struggle, you want to take the load off. My mama didn't have to ask me for no money, just gave it to her. Thousand dollars? I don't care what the amount was. I would not try to humiliate my mother by using money as a pawn to get her to degrade herself. I would not do something like that. I'm not built like that. I'm gonna tell you something else. I wish the best for the little homie, but there is no way that you can treat your mother that badly and the universe not pay you back with bad luck. Man, I could never even, I would never even imagine myself humiliating my mother under any circumstances. Because if mama don't look good, I don't look good. That's just the way it is, man. Like, this really makes me question dude's mental capacity. I checked him out. The dude was a star athlete, quarterback, out in California. The dude could play ball. From what I read, he played college ball uh, after one of the after the starter got hurt. He stepped in for one game where they got blew out, but he he didn't throw any interceptions. He didn't, and he threw a couple of touchdowns. So his first game, they got blew out, but the dude seemed like a promising athlete. Something went wrong. He dropped out. And he started rapping. The dude is only 23 years old. I couldn't find any information on his mother's age, but I bet you anything his mother had him very young. 
Because that's what happens oftentimes. oftentimes. These women have these boys, these babies, too early. And they're growing up at the same time that their mothers are growing up. So the mother treat her children more like her sister or her brother than her child. So they do a lot of plan and all that stuff. And they talk to each other reckless. Mothers allow the children to talk to them the same way that a friend might talk to them or an enemy might talk to them. I've heard some of these people, man, say so many horrible things to their mothers. I saw one video where this white dude dropped his mama. I mean, hit her with an overhand right and knocked her out. It's like, damn, man. You, I was about to say you couldn't do that when I was growing up in my family. You still can't do that in my family. The whole family will come get you. But especially back then, man, your mother would kill you, period. She wouldn't even need backup. She would just take your life. But the backup was sure to be there. They was coming. And I mean, everybody would get at your ass. You could not get away. Such such cussed his mom out. Just, it don't matter what the cuss word was. You cussed your mama out. Oh, man, the whole, the whole family finna come get your ass. Grandma included. The whole neighborhood finna ride on you. Somewhere. Man, we lost it, bro. Somewhere. We lost it. If you can't respect your own mother, who can you respect? Who will you respect? And I suspect that people that treat their mother like that, they're going to pass those same type of values, I guess, on to their children. There's no way possible your child can see you talking to your mama like that and interacting with your mother like that and they not pick up some of that and then use that same type of behavior against you. It's no way possible you're going to be able to avoid that. Man, that was hard to watch. And the mom, she does bear most of the responsibility simply because she didn't have to accept it. She played along like somewhere mama's supposed to be like, man, I don't give a damn who you is. I don't give a damn if you blue face, black face, whatever your damn name is. You ain't finna handle me like that. Get the fuck out of my face. You know, you got me fucked all up. That's what the mama should have said, you know. But had mama done her job, he wouldn't even went there with mama. That wouldn't even been a discussion. Mama she got to accept most of the responsibility. Allow your child to crack you over the head with an egg for some money? Come on, man. It don't get that bad. It don't get that bad. I don't give a damn what my situation is. I would never be or feel so low or be so desperate for money that I would humiliate myself like that. Let alone have my child be the culprit. Oh, man. Family, let me know if it's me. Am I tripping? Or do we have a whole lot of work to do? No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?